whatever we built in the future to any other perspective is short-sighted. Hey folks, how's it going? Try to answer this simple question. How many hours did you spend today on your gadget? In other words, how many hours do you think you're spending in the virtual world each day? The answers vary according to your profession, age, interest, etc. But in 28 years from now, every human will spend at least 10 hours in the virtual world. This is what some futurologists have predicted upon the growing technology. Let me ask you one more intriguing question. Have you heard about sex robots or sex bots? Okay. Do you think sex bots will conquer the love life of our species in the coming years? Do watch this video till the end to know about some intimidating facts and the future of artificial intelligence AI. Before that, welcome all to our YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. Now let us continue with our topic. The tech world is growing at an incredible pace than ever expected in this modern world. And without any doubt, this trend will continue for sure. Initially, we were only concentrating on fulfilling our needs. But today, we are more into sustainable growth and the emergence of electric vehicles to support the environment. And it's a big step in showing our concern for nature. So today's technology is not only about development, it is also about development without disturbing our niche. Thinking about how the technological improvements have impacted our lifestyles, for example, today there is an autopilot mode where we need not have to drive the car at all. Fully automatic is the real motto of any product manufacturer. Whether it be a car or a house, everything is available with a single touch. By 2050, we will have personalized AI assistance for our day-to-day -day needs. From our car to the Google assistance we received on our cell phones, everything we do goes through a virtual world which is inevitable. The world in 2050 could be called a utopia where AI rules. This could be a warning or a very safe and sophisticated world for us. Have you watched the movie Wall-E? In this movie, the future of humankind is portrayed and very interestingly and somewhat scary too. People will have all new technologies in hand. Hence their lives are way too easier and they don't even have to walk, just moving around on their carriers. All are unhealthy since no one moves a muscle. This is merely the imagination of the writer. The reality could be a lot more different from this. The point is that the future will surely benefit a lot from virtual reality. Are you guys aware of what virtual reality is? Virtual reality is a simulated experience that can be similar to or completely different from the real world. Applications of virtual reality include entertainment, education and business. It is fully indulging and everything we see is part of an environment artificially constructed through images, sounds, etc. Reality is something we can experience through our senses around us, like the air we breathe, the water we drink, etc. At the same time, virtual reality is something that does not exist in reality, but somewhere. For example, using VR goggles, people experience different scenarios as if they are going through them. It is a 3D world where people can interact as in video games. Lists of VR facilities can never be complete without artificial intelligence, and the duo has the potential to change the world completely. However, both are in their infancy and have only made small appearances here and there. Let us see every sector which will benefit greatly through VR and likewise will influence our lives. First of all, let us see the influence of VR in the educational field. Education and other related training are getting costly day by day. With VR technology, organizations can reduce costs and give their employees the best training without further risk. Walmart has used 17,000 Oculus Go headsets to train its customer service department employees. Because of that, the US Army has started using Microsoft HoloLens technology to offer soldiers real-time updates on their environments. In classrooms, using VR allows students to retain knowledge better and help students with learning difficulties. Travel and tourism is the next field. You can travel to any of your favorite destinations by playing an immersive video without even packing your bag. It gives the users a try-it-before-you-buy-it experience. Moreover, it allows its users to have a street view and check the venues and nearby restaurants by just being in the room. In real estate, buyers increasingly make decisions through virtual tours. When we think of VR, games are the first use that comes to any normal person. How does VR make gaming more realistic? Let's see. 
Over the globe, over 89 million VR headsets were sold in 2016, and 98% are mobile-based VR headsets. Moreover, Google Cardboard has shaken the market as the headset price is relatively low. Following are the prominent players active in the market in recent times. Number 1. Oculus the headset's focus is to offer a better gaming experience. However, the company is now focusing on expanding its application to business use. Oculus claims that the system is more advanced and powerful, and its adoption will heavily benefit the manufacturing and advertisement sectors. Number 2. Google Cardboard has had a major market share since it released 84 million devices in 2016. As the name suggests, the VR was made using cardboard. It was launched as an experiment to let people experience virtual reality. Number 3. Sony has combined VR headset with famous gaming hardware, PlayStation. Globally, approximately 4.2 million PlayStation VR headsets were sold in 2019, and it is leading its competitors. HTC Vice and Oculus Rift. The increase in headsets also means more online users. Indeed, some of the most engaging experiences to date involve playing and being together in virtual reality, meaning you'd never need to be alone. Freeing headsets from wired form to wireless form will make VR more interactive and transportable. A notable add-on whenever, wherever. Within a few years, it may be as simple as carrying lightweight VR goggles wherever you go and throwing them on at a moment's notice. Technological developments without supporting the medical field is impossible. The Spanish National Research Council has found victory in reducing the effects of Parkinson's disease in several patients by applying a VR treatment. Many other prospects of VR in the medical field are that, suppose a doctor finds it difficult to explain a patient's condition. In such cases, the doctor can easily explain the condition using a VR platform. Moreover, medical studies, with the help of the most advanced technology involving VR, can make the researchers see success. Something out of the box is that journalism and VR together create. Immersive journalism will take the users to the places where events are occurred. Streaming live in 360-degree videos, a form of journalism production allows a first-person experience of the events or situation described in news, reports, and documentary films using 3D gaming that creates a sense of being there and offers the opportunity to engage with the story personally. Immersive journalism puts an audience member directly to that event. By entering into a virtual version of the location where the story is occurring as a witness by experiencing the perspective of a character depicted in the news story, the audience could be afforded unprecedented access to the sights and sounds and even the feelings and emotions accompanying the news. VR goggles and headsets are all used to achieve this. VR architects better envisage a space and present the project to their clients. 3D modeling is a brilliant way of prototyping building ideas. VR also helps show the customers the 3D view through laser screens. When clients cannot understand spatial relationships and scale from looking at a 2D rendering, VR can evoke a positive reaction in much the same way physical architecture can. From a few VR prospects, it is clear that VR will undoubtedly revolutionize our lives. Now let us look through another freaking application of VR. VR can influence our lives from waking up until going back to bed, maybe even in the bed with you. Did it sound weird? Yeah, surely it does, but the fact is that your partner could be a robot itself. Sex robots are anthropomorphic, dolls with humanoid forms with human-like behavior, movements and some degree of artificial intelligence. Harmony 2.1, created by a California-based robotics firm, Realbotics in 2018, was the first ever sex robot the world has witnessed. They're still under development. Sex robots are made of silicon-based material and they look exactly like humans. Having sex is a basic need of any human being just like any other basic need. But at times, having such a bond with another human could be difficult at first. Such insecurities could be solved using a sex bot. Recent researchers will make sex bots capable of having sensations like the humans. This will lead sex robots another step closer to real humans.
That was a lot of information. Seems like 10 hours is very less to spend in the virtual world. Every job will soon be related to VR. Hence, every human, from a child playing video games to a senior citizen watching daily news, will immensely depend on this novel technology. We're talking about a world 28 years ahead of us. There is a bit of fantasy that comes into play here. Let's hope the reality will be way more interesting than this. If you've liked the video, do not forget to like it and do subscribe to our channel. We will be coming back with other relevant subjects. See you soon. Goodbye.